Hey, how's it going guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech video. In this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to install ROMs onto your Verizon Note 3 with multi-system. As of right now, you should be on a stock Jasmine ROM 5.0 or above if you actually were willing to go up above five, but five is fine. And hopefully you are on the OF1 update. And I have videos for that as well. So go and check those out. Make sure you're at that level and then you can continue on with this video. All right, so before using this video, you should also have followed my multi-system video. And I'll link that down below as well. And you can probably see the link here on the screen. And you should also have your battery charged to avoid any kind of bricking because if it turns off while you're doing any of this, you could mess up your file system. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to install the Jasmine ROM 6. That's just because it's one of the latest ones. It's the latest and greatest, has a whole bunch of features. I like it, but you can do this with any ROM. It could be the Jasmine ROM 5 or 511, uh, and you can do it obviously with the Jasmine ROM 6. So you can follow this video for any kind of ROM. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the computer. Uh, you should also have the Jasmine ROM 6 or any kind of ROM file already downloaded. And if you need them, they'll be in the description down below as well. So once you have that downloaded, we'll go ahead and continue on the computer. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we want to unzip the Jasmine ROM 6.0 zip file. So we'll go ahead and go inside and right click on this system.img. And we'll go ahead and copy and then put that back in our root folder. So go ahead and paste that in there. All right, so I've already done that. And as you can see right here, I've renamed it to Jasmine ROM 6. So to do that, you know, you just F2 and then system.img is what it's normally. And then I just renamed it to Jasmine ROM 6. All right, so we're good there. We're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna copy it over to the root of our internal storage for our phone. So go into your phone, not the card, but phone, that's your internal storage. We're just gonna go ahead and copy it to the root of this folder. And the reason we're doing that is because we're not able to see the multi-system folder from within here because Windows can't see that file. But we'll copy it to the root of this folder and later we'll transfer it over where it needs to be. All right, so we have the Jasmine ROM 6 image file in here. And again, you can do this for any kind of Jasmine ROM that you want or any kind of ROM that is compatible with multi-system. So now we're gonna go into ES File Explorer on our phone. So once you open that up, you wanna go to the root of your SD, internal SD, and hold on that image, and then hit the cut button. And now you can navigate over to the root of your device, and then go to the multi-system folder. Okay, now navigate over to the image folder, and then the system folder. And you could just go ahead and paste it in here. All right, so this will take a little while and we will continue once this is finished. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and open up the multi-system app and scroll down a little bit. And then we will select the update configurations button. All right, once that's done, the multi-system app should refresh and take you to the top and we're gonna scroll down and activate the virtual system. So we'll tick this from off to on. All right, and now you should be able to see your image in this primary system image. You'll see it at the bottom there. We'll go ahead and select it. All right, and we wanna hit the top right button and make sure that run on boot is selected and on. And last but not least, we'll scroll all the way to the bottom of multi-system. And go ahead and tap reboot to recovery mode. All right, so once it reboots into recovery, you wanna use the volume down to go down to wipe data slash factory reset, and then hit the power button to select it. Then volume down all the way down until you're over yes. Delete all user data. All right, and then just hit the power button to select yes and let it delete all the user data. Okay, so it will send you back to the main menu and then just hit the power button on reboot system now. 
And immediately after this, keep an eye on the top left light, you'll see it turn green. Go ahead and hit the volume up button when you see that a couple times. And that will just boot into your first ROM slot. And right after this, you will see the Marshmallow boot up animation. And this will run for quite a while, a long while, and your phone might heat up a little bit, so just keep a close eye on it, it should be fine. All right, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that multi-system is installed. So just navigate to wherever you have that APK. For me, it's on my SD card. Go ahead and install multi-system. If you get the install blocked, go ahead and go to settings and then unknown sources and hit okay on that. All right, so go ahead and install and go ahead and decline on this Google check. You don't really need Google checking out this app anyways. All right, now go ahead and open multi-system and we're gonna scroll down until we see update configurations and we're gonna hit that again. We're gonna go ahead and hit update configurations, go ahead and grant it super user access and it should refresh again and take you to the top of the app. All right, so now last but not least, we wanna go into terminal emulator and then we're gonna type in SU to give us super user access and go ahead and grant that. And now we're gonna type in multi-system just to verify that it is there and it is. Next, we wanna type in multi-system and then status and you will see that multi-system is installed properly. So as you see here in the middle, current system IMG is jasmine-rom6.img, which is the one we just finished installing. And loop zero is the system dev. So you're properly installed and running multi-system. All right, so now we wanna just go ahead and see what the phone is showing for its status. So we're gonna go down to about phone and look through here. And you'll notice that my baseband version and my build number are OF1. My Android version is 5.0. All right. And this is for the N900V version, so the Verizon Note 3. All right. And then last but not least, we want to activate a couple of toggles. So we're going to go to Terminal Emulator again. And then we're going to type in SU again to give us the super user. And next, we're going to just type in toggles. All right, so right after you do this, it's gonna restart your phone. All right, and just keep in mind what you did before. You wanna keep a lookout for that green light and then hit the volume up again. And that will give you the boot animation and you'll boot right in. And we'll bring you back to your home screen and we'll go ahead and pull down the menu and I'll show you what that toggles option did. It actually installed the flashlight toggle up in the top right and also the floating messages toggle. And also it added a do not disturb. All right guys, so if you follow that tutorial all the way through and thoroughly, you should be on Jasmine ROM 6.0 and that should be running off of your first multi-system ROM slot. In my next videos, I'm actually gonna show you a couple of modules within Exposed Installer. A couple ones that I like to use and you know, little kind of mods here and there. I really like a, a lot of the modules inside of Exposed Installer and I wanna share those with you. Another thing I wanna show you are the themes within Jasmine ROM 6.0. There's a lot of themes that this developer has added to this ROM and I think it deserves its own video. They're all really, really cool. And then last but not least, I also wanna show you how to freeze some bloatware that's on the phone. But yeah, that should be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to my channel because I will be making a whole lot more videos for the Verizon Note 3. Especially since we have multi-system going, there's a lot of room for modding and it's getting really exciting. So, stay tuned for those. I also want to give credit where credit is due. I want to give credit to Gutless LX. He provides the music for all of these videos from this one and in the past. So, if you haven't checked him out already, go ahead and check out his SoundCloud and his Twitter. All those links will be down below. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, I'll see you on the next one.